So many conscientious objection claims are part of well-organized campaigns by political campaign organizations to subvert hard fought over civil rights, patient rights. And these are today occurring in the areas of abortion care, uh, in the context of contraceptives, um, and in the context of contraceptives is both doctors and pharmacists. In the context of end-of-life care, it is doctors, nurses, and pharmacists who might refuse, for instance, and ultimately to deliver the script on particular medication that people might have to take in the context of, of assisted suicide. Um, I mentioned already uh, queer patients where it could affect them in the, in the context of access to in vitro fertilization, but also, believe it or not, um, recently a case was reported in the United States where a gay man, uh, a student, postgrad student at a, at a university, went to the, the campus doctor and asked for PrEP, PrEP is pre-exposure prophylaxis, which is basically um, for people who don't want to use condoms or can't be sure that they all the time use them properly. So in effect, it's, uh, it's, it's a drug-based barrier to, uh, to acquiring an HIV infection. And the doctor basically said, I'm opposed to your sinful lifestyle in the first place, and I am not prescribing uh, pre-exposure prophylaxis to you. That's your problem. You're not getting this from me. Even though this person, this gay guy, was <laughs> the exact target for this kind of medication, that's what it's designed to do. 